Simulan na natin sa tinatawag na SSS postulate. Pag sinabing SSS postulate, kung hahanapin nyo siya sa inyong libro, it, te it tells us that if three sides of one triangle is congruent to the other three sides of another triangle, then we can say that the two triangles are congruent. So, kung ito ay si triangle ACE, applying the corresponding points, kung mapapansin nyo, parang itiniklop lang yung ating triangle. So, ibig sabihin, si A will correspond to B, C will correspond to D, and E will correspond to F. So, triangle ACE is congruent to triangle BDF. Bakit? By side, 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 postulate. Now, in proving, using two column proofs, kung given na agad itong mga markings na ito, madali na yan. Pwede mo lang sabihin na angle, ah, uh, side AC is congruent to side BD. Ah, uh, segment um, CE is congruent to segment BF. And segment AE is congruent to segment BF. So, kung naka-two-column proof yan, syempre, nandito ang statements, nandito ang reasons. So, kung given na yan lahat sa ating drawing, wala ka ng problema dyan, uh, madali na yan. Bakit? Kasi ang magiging reason lang yan is that our... Three segments are all given. Okay? So, therefore, for the last statement, triangle triangle ACE is congruent to triangle BDF by, well, our reason will be SSS postulate. Now, kung mapapansin nyo, unlike nung sa una nating given, na inilipat lang ng posisyon, parehas ng itsura, Magkaiba lang ang posisyon ng ating triangles, no? Na transpose na transpose lang siya o na ibang posisyon. Dito flip na siya, 'di ba? Ito itidiklop mo pa kabila. So ito yung isa mong triangle. So meron pa tayo dito ang ibang mga examples ng flip. Okay? Pag flip, ibig sabihin na i or parang itiniklop yung ating given, no? So we have here two examples of proving which makes use of what we call SSS postulate. Unahin natin itong triangle HEO and triangle HPO. Okay? So, kagaya kanina, ang triangle HEO and HPO ay flipped. No? So, kaya ang ating mga markings, si HE, kaparehas ng HP, si EO, kaparehas ni PO. Okay? So, pwede na natin ilagay yun directly sa ating two-column proof. So, the statements will be, dahil wala naman tayong word format dito ng ating ipuproof, pwedeng diretso tayo sa drawing kumuha ng given. So, we have the first one is, segment HE is congruent to segment HP. Okay? Kung ang nilagay nyo dito ay segment EH, dapat dito ay segment PH. Okay na? So, what is our reason? Siyempre, dahil nasa drawing na siya, the reason is it's our given. Next. For the second part, we have segment EO is congruent to segment PO. The reason, again, it's our given. Next. So, as you can see, unlike the earlier example na merong space pa sa pagitan ng dalawang side at magkaiba ng pangalan yung ating dalawang third side ng given, ngayon, magkadikit na sila. No? So, ibig sabihin, they have the same segment or same third side. So, pwede namang ilagay din natin yon For triangle HEO, meron tayong HE, EO, at HO. So, ilagay natin. Segment HO is congruent to, oh, sa triangle HPO, we have HP, PO, and HO rin. So, ilagay natin ay HO. Now, hindi pwedeng given yung ilagay natin dito. Bakit? Kasi po, wala naman siyang marking na tatlo dito. No? So, lalagay lang natin yun pag may markings siya. So, kapag ganyan, magre-rely tayo doon sa 
property of equality or congruence that tells us that one quantity is equal or congruent to itself. At ano yun? Yun yung tinatawag natin reflexive property. Huwag kakalimutan na. Again, pag reflexive property, one quantity is equal to itself. For example, x equals x, bc equals bc, or segment ho is congruent to segment ho. So, meron tayong reflexive property of equality. Meron din tayong reflexive property of congruence. Now, syempre, hindi pa tapos yan. Although, nabigay na natin yung tatlong congruent parts na kailangan para mapatunayan na ang triangle are, or the two triangles are, congruent. Kailangan, banggitin mo rin kung ano yung dalawang triangles na yun. Okay? By relying on what you have to prove. So, triangle H... EO is congruent to triangle HPO. Bakit? The reason is that of SSS postulate. Punta naman tayo sa second example. So, given point K is the midpoint of segment SY. Segment PS is congruent to segment TY. Segment PK is congruent to segment PK. Kung mapapansin ninyo, wala na tayong marking sa ating given, no? Pero, nakasulat siya in word format. Okay? So, ganun mara naman ang gagawin. We always start with the given. Pero, bago ka magsulat, lagyan mo na ng markings kung ano yung mga pinag-uusapan. No? So, let us start with K is the midpoint of SY. Kung ito yung segment SY at ito yung ating midpoint, pag sinabing midpoint, the point in the middle. So, pag nasa middle siya, nasa gitna, masasabi natin na yung dalawang segments ay congruent. So, SK is congruent to KY. Now, oh, isulat na natin. Doon tayo doon sa unang statement. So, we have number 1. K is the midpoint. Of segment SY. What is our first reason? Siyempre, it's our given. So, from this given, kumuha muna tayo ng conclusion or statement dito bago tayo mag-proceed sa iba pang mga given natin. So, again, napag-usapan na natin kung ano yung midpoint, na-determine na rin natin kung ano yung congruent segments, ilagay na natin yung congruent segments. So, we have segment Oh, pwedeng SK, pwedeng KS. So, kung ilalagay natin ay SK, dapat yung isa ay YK. Okay, congruent to YK. Again, corresponding points. At kagaya pa rin kanina, that one is a flip triangle, no? Or a pair of flip triangles. So, kung ito, para siyang itiniklop pa kabila, o oh, ayun, yun ang ating corresponding points. P corresponds to T, S corresponds to Y, and K corresponds to K. So, for number 2, the reason cannot be given kasi hindi naman siya ibinigay bilang um, drawing. No, Ang reason natin is that it is taken from the previous statement which is about midpoint. No, So, ibig sabihin, the reason will be since midpoint is, or we took it from the definition of the midpoint, and isulat natin, definition of midpoint. Kung hindi pa rin malinaw yung definition ng midpoint, hanapin ulit yung notes ng grade 7 para meron kayong reviewer. Next. So, uh, since meron na tayo dito congruence, unlike dati, ng proving ng whole two parts, change pa natin siya sa equal, ngayon, no need na. Kasi, triangle congruence naman ang kailangan nating patunayan. No? So, no need to change to congruent segments or equal segments. No? So, for the third statement, since tapos na tayo dito sa statement na to, balik tayo sa ating given. So, we have here, segment PS is congru congruent to segment TY. Ano sila dito? Ito yung PS. Ito yung TY. So, we can write it here. We have segment PS is congruent to segment TY. Also, segment PK is congruent to TK. Ito yun. Segment TK. Ito yun. 
No? So, we can also write it down. Or pwede nyo paghiwalay na number, walang problema. No? So, segment... PK is congruent to segment TK. No? So, for our reasons, we have for 3 and 4, given and given. Now, we already got 3 parts or 3 congruent parts of a triangle. So, ibig sabihin, pwede na natin i-conclude that triangle PSK is congruent to triangle PYK. What will be the reason? Oh, since you have a side, side and side, our reason is SSS postulate. Okay? 